and this is the Calamity Mob Let's Play. Back for the 12th episode, folks. And I just... Oh, okay, I inadvertently used my raid. Good God, I need to change the freaking key. I've got it set to C, which is right next to X, which is the boss checklist. And then I've got Z as uh, the item browser thing. But anyways, guys, I took down 20 Crabulons. I've got myself a trophy out of it. Uh, what the hell? What is this? Uh, it is from the Weapon Out mod. Okay, well, uh, that's cool, I guess. But anyways, guys, welcome back. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe the thing we were looking for was the Crabulon Mask. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If I don't get it from this, here today, right now, I'm gonna be incredibly sad. Right, so I'm literally just gonna start chucking stuff away at this point. Uh, can I like just, yeah, I'm just gonna shift click it all away at this point. Right, we're looking for a mask, don't care. Don't care. Already got that stuff. Uh, ha! Yeah, boy! The third one! Ladies and gentlemen, Crabulon is officially donezo. I'm very happy. Right, now where's the... So the masks just go on the first row. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's go and get that on there. And bada bing, bada boom. We are donezo. I'm very happy. We finally did it, guys. Actually, finally did it. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All right. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Granite blocks. And then we got ourselves a ton of treasure bags as well, because, uh, you know, treasure bags are kind of cool. Especially if you want yourself a bunch of money. I love me some money. I think money's fantastic. All right, well, uh, yeah, guys. Things are looking absolutely fantastic. So that's legendary. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one's that one's very good. It's uh, It's got more mana cost, but it's legendary. So, like, why would I not want that, huh? Why would I not want that? You'd have to be crazy to not want that. Ah, uh, guys, I'm finally, ah, uh, I'm finally there. And I'm so happy that we finally got all of that blasted stuff done. Like, yeah, uh, I was starting to lose hope that I wouldn't get the Crabulon mask. And uh, a lot of you guys were saying in the last episode that maybe we shouldn't go for every single boss drop per time. Uh, but instead, we go for the boss drops that are like 5% or higher. So we actually have a realistic chance of getting them fairly quick. Uh, which is a pretty good idea. I'm going to be honest. It's a pretty good idea. Ooh. Rare? What's this one? Rare. This one gives increased life regen, though. It's got to be the life regen, right? We've got to go for the life regen. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this off. For whatever reason, right-clicking doesn't work if you have the same thing. Like, if I do that, if I'm, I'm actually clicking, it doesn't do anything. I mean, uh, oh well, doesn't matter. So let's get you sold right there. We've got 52 gold coins, which is going to bring us up to well over, what, five or four platinum coins more to the point. Look at he do. God damn, we are making some serious progress, guys. We are looking absolutely fantastic. So I'll tell you what, should we go and do a fishing quest real quick? I think it's about that time. Let's do it. Whoa! Okay, so apparently we needed to go to a sky lake, but actually there's a whole bunch of other stuff. I completely forgot. We have the planetoids from the Calamity mod. Aha. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. And we've got the really, really cool looking night slash space sky thing. That's also pretty cool. Ah. Uh, oh, mate, I'm loving this. All right, looks like there's another little jungle thing coming up. Hello. It's a... Oh, wow, that's got a... That's got a queen beehive on it. What the crap? Okay. We've got ourselves like a regular look looking planetoid here. Now, I imagine once we start going inside these things, that's when the, the real fun stuff uh, begins. Uh, but yeah. Wow. All right. But to be honest, I'm looking for a sky lake. If I can find a sky lake, I'm going to be the happiest guy in the entire world. What is that? It looks like some sort of moss thing. It is. There's a heart crystal in it. We don't need to have any more heart crystals because we've already got 400. We're donezo already, guys. All right. Wow. These go really high up. Good Lord. Over a thousand blocks in the sky. Or whatever measurement that is. Alright, cool! Come on, man! There's gotta be a sky lake somewhere! We're gonna run out of freaking time if we're not careful. Uh-huh, not that interesting. Another... Oh. Hello. That's an enchanted sword. Crap! <laughs> alright! Alright, alright! That's pretty good. I'm hoping that one isn't cursed, because the one we currently have is cursed. So we lose health slightly as we go, which sucks. Another queen beehive? Planetoid thing? Ah, uh, come on, man. There's got to be some regular skylands around somewhere, right? Oh, no, we're coming across areas we've already explored. Okay, we're going to have to go. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Okay, uh, that was a bit trippy. <laughs> All right, we're going up this way instead. To the right-hand side. Wow, that is a... That's a... Uh, that's a surprisingly low skyland. 
All right. Oh, we've got limited time here, my friends. We've got ourselves a Star Fury. Uh-huh. Very nice. All right. But like I say, we are looking more than anything for a Sky Lake. There's got to be one somewhere, surely. We are running out of time, guys. Whoa. Okay. So our potion just ran out, and we found ourselves a mushroom biome island. Very interesting. I'd be very interested in seeing if there's anything on the inside here. Uh, no. I mean, doesn't look like it anyway. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Yeah, still pretty cool. I can't complain about it. Uh, okay, so we've got that going on over there. And not a whole bunch of anything else. I mean, uh, I think technically speaking, it did say I could also capture the fish on the surface. But I don't know. All we can do is give it a go, I guess. So let's let's do it. Let's give it a go. Oh, well, there we go. The fish of Cthulhu. Right, now we just need to get to the outer edges of the world. Because I reset my spawn point back to world spawn. Ah, good job, Python. All right, Budski, what you got for me this time? A weather radio. Okay, I mean, I think we've already got that. Uh, let me just confirm that real quick. Do we already have a weather radio? Yeah, we do. It's right there. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, I'll sell that one in which case because, you know, the other one will be used to make the eventual PDA and cell phone. That'll be pretty cool to go for on this series as well. So, yeah. So, guys, in terms of next progression, technically speaking, it's going to be the Eater of Worlds or the Brain of Cthulhu. We could do either or. But, of course, because we have the, uh, we've got the corruption nearer us, uh, I don't see a reason why we can't go ahead and and do the uh, Eater of Worlds. So, yeah. I mean, it just kind of makes sense, right? In every single sense of the word, it makes sense. Right, can I buy... Ah, uh, oh, maybe not. Well, I was hoping I'd be able to buy some Unholy Arrows, but uh, apparently not. Uh, we do have a bunch of stars. I mean, as you guys know, as you guys know, Jester's Arrows are very good. They're very, very good. All right, so let's go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, we can get ourselves, what, 160? That's a pretty formidable amount to start off with, to be honest with you. But anyways, uh, we'll buy ourselves a bunch more. There we go. Let's go for that. And yeah, we, we should be pretty good to go, to be honest. Right, where's the demolitionist? We don't have a demolitionist. Ah, dang, blast it. Do we have any bombs already? Okay, yep, yeah, we got a lot of bombs. <laughs> all right, well, uh, yeah, we definitely don't need to worry about bombs nor ammo, because apparently we've got all of that going on as well. So, yeah. All right. All right. Ah, I'm looking forward to this. All right, guys, we are going to the corruption, and we are going to uh, corruptify the place. And, well, I say corruptify the place. I'm actually going to cleanse it and destroy some serious butt. So, yeah. So, I guess, technically speaking, because the Eater of Worlds and Brain of Cthulhu are on the same line in terms of progression, I was hoping maybe we could take them both down, and then we just farm them both out for their drops, and then move on to the Hive Mind and Perforators, right? To me, it kind of makes sense to do it that way, but I don't know. Maybe you guys uh, have differing opinions in the comments area below. I have no idea. But anyways, guys, we are going to the corruption to see what we can do. So let's do it. All right, you bunch of sissies. Well, right, let's see what we can do here, huh? We've got ourselves uh, our new enchanted sword. Sadly, it is cursed, but it also has better stats. Plus 6% damage, 9.4% chance of uh, inflicting on fire, which I thought was pretty cool anyways. Uh, good day to you, sir. Get absolutely destroyed. Right, how far down does this go, huh? Apparently, Pinky is around here. Interesting, interesting. Anyways, uh, let's go and bomb the place. Two, three, four. Why not? There we go. All right, so we have a... Oh, what? There's a freaking shrine down there, guys. I want to go get the shrine. Bomb it! Oh, jeez, sir. Uh, okay. Be careful there, broski. All right, I want to go ahead and see what's in here. Oh, my God, there's two of them. All right, well, uh, we've got ourselves a staff of regrowth. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, we're going to check. What? There's a third one? What the heck? There's actually a third one. What? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four... Five? We got five? <laughs> what? What? How is there five? Within seeing distance. Holy crap. All right, well, uh, that's pretty good. All right, well, boom, boom. Let's just use those. Don't need them. Uh, pfft, yeah, go bye-byes there, sir. I can't believe that. 
there's five within seeing distance. That's absolutely unfreaking believable. I've never seen so many in one go. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. The fiberglass fishing pole. Oh, you love to see it, guys. You do. You absolutely love to see it. I certainly love to see it. The fiberglass fishing pole is the best that you can get pre-hard mode, I do believe. So, yeah. Well, not unless you actually, like, uh, what's the one I'm looking for? Actually grind out all of the fishing quests, like, pre-hard mode. Then I guess you can get a hotline or gold fishing run. But, aside from that, yeah, fiberglass. God damn, though. Holy mother of God. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. Don't mind if I do. I'm absolutely never, ever going to com complain about that. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, yeah, apparently our luck has very much come back to us now. Uh, yeah, I mean, don't mind if I do, man. Do not mind if I do. Right, I would like to be able to get through here, and I want to start making a bit of a rudimentary arena so I can actually do some boss ponage as it was supposed to be. All right, so let's go ahead and start off by doing a little bit of that. All right, uh, probably light the place up as well just a little bit. Oh, I just came to the realization I don't have any wood. Was there any trees down there? Ah, oh, dang blast it. Oh, dang blast it. All right, well, that sucks. Uh-huh. All right, well, we'll have to work around it. We'll have to work around it. It's totally fine. We'll still be okay. I'm I'm still pretty confident we can take down the Eater of Worlds with absolute ease, so I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. All righty, guys. The second orb has just been broken. I got a band of star power from it, as you can see. Uh, dodge chance and life regen. That seems like a pretty good uh, trade-off right there. Uh, so anyways, we're going back up here. There is one more orb to get. There are, in fact... Three, count them, three more shrines. We've got this one here, this one here, and then this one over here. Seriously, the amount of shrines is insane. There is also, I believe that's going to be the jungle temple down there, uh, which is very, very cool. So we know at least where that is now, which is uh, very nice. So yeah, guys, I think we're just about ready. We are just about donezo. We're going to get this thing rolling. We've got one more orb literally right there. And, uh, yeah, I've lit everywhere up, so hopefully you guys can actually see what the heck it is I'm doing uh, with this boss fight. Uh, so let's get you going, and boom, boom. Uh, a couple more bits rather like that. There we go. One more. And, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be uh, taking on the Eater of Worlds, which, uh, yeah, I'm excited for. Shouldn't be any reason why we shouldn't be able to do it if you catch my drift. So, let's roll. Wagons roll. All right, all right. Basically, wait, I'm not using the right ammo. No wonder why I'm not doing much damage. What the heck, bro? For whatever reason, I like picked up a whole bunch more regular arrows and they didn't stack with my actual ones. Aha, uh -huh. very interesting. Oh gosh, there's so many dudes. All right. Go on, go on, you might as well try it. Go on, revengeance. What an absolute joke there, sir. You're the, you're the funniest joke going. You really are, you know that. Boom, get wrecked. Huh, that was easy. All right, well, uh, yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, the eater of worlds, more like eater of death. <laughs> ah, I am, I am very good. All right, let's, well, anyways, let's go and do this thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. Lots of demonite. I like the demonite. Lots of it. All right, we've got a treasure bag and some lore. Uh-huh. All right, very, very nice. Magnum. Where do I keep getting the magnum rounds from? I don't understand. That literally does not make any sense. The crimson and the brain of Cthulhu. That is the wrong lore. <laughs> oh, that is actually the wrong lore. That's hilarious. All right, well, uh-huh. I'd be very interested in knowing, in which case, if when I kill the brain of Cthulhu, I actually get the, I uh, the Eater of Worlds lore. That would be kind of funny, actually. I kind of like that. Hmm, interesting. Do we do it, guys? Do we do it? I think we do it. I think we just freaking do it. Let's go back to base, chuck all of our stuff away, and we're just going to go take on the brain of Cthulhu as well. I mean, I mean, just why not, dudes? Why the heck not? Tell me why not, huh? Tell me why not. we got to do it. we just got to do it. Alrighty, and of course, let's not forget the treasure bag. We do have ourselves the worm scarf. Look at that. It's uncommon as well with a chance to survive lethal blows, which is very nice. Right, the question is, what do we replace? The laudanum? The counter scarf? I don't know, man. I don't know. Amidius spark? 
Emitting Spark is probably the one I might replace for now. The Worm Scarf, I mean, come on, man. You can't not want the reduction in damage, right? You'd have to be a complete and utter madman to not want that. So, yeah. Anyways, we now got a couple of chests going here. The Brain of Cthulhu, of course, uh, with the Crimson Lore. So that kind of makes sense. And then, of course, we've got that going on with the Shadow Scales. And we'll, we'll see what we can make just a little bit later down the line. But like I say, I would very much like to go ahead and see if I can take down the Brain of Cthulhu too. So, let's grab our bombs back out. And, uh, yeah. Wagons roll, guys. The Architect has arrived. Awesome! The Architect will literally allow you to buy blocks. Which is sweet. I'm actually very, very happy with that. Good God, there's a lot of vines around here, huh? Or thorns, whatever you want to call them. All right, well, here we go, my friends. All we've got to do is get down, break ourselves some uh, crimson hearts, and uh, away we go. I didn't pick up any uh, platforms or anything like that, though, so, uh, huh. Yeah, I might have uh, done this a bit preemptively, but the good news is I do have myself uh, a whole bunch of uh, potions, uh, you know, buff potions. Oh, my God, what the heck? Hello? All right, all right. I gotta see what this is at the very least. Ooh. All right, what do you got for me? Flesh knuckles. Seven defense enemies are more likely to target you. But guys, check it out. It's a grand total of 10 defense. 10 defense. Oh my gosh. So we've got 35 defense pre-hard mode. Uh, pretty damn good if you ask me. All right, well, I wasn't expecting to find that chest there, but hey-ho. Weirder things have happened, ladies and gentlemen. Weirder things have happened. Like, in a previous series, I once had a Sunstone pre-hard mode. Which is very weird. But also very awesome at the same time. Like, I, I can't complain. I will literally never, ever complain about that. Alright, so guys, let's break some hearts and let's do this thing. Alright, let's do this thing. The Brain of Cthulhu has awoken. We've got no arena whatsoever. But you know what? I have won against worst odds, ladies and gentlemen. Let's buff ourselves up and let's rock this bad boy up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm getting the confused debuff every now and again. Very interesting. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Just absolutely destroying shop here, guys. Hello. Right. Come on, then. You might as well just give up. You might as well give up. 2,380 health. Very strange amount. But hey-ho. I've seen weirder things in this world, I guess. All right. Ah, uh, you see, as the health goes down, the rest of the clones become a bit more translucent, meaning I might struggle to figure out which one is the actual one, but luckily, the health bar gives it away very, very easily. I'd almost consider that a little bit overpowered in which case, but hey-ho. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Donzo. Ah, uh, that's the easiest thing I think I've ever done. All right, well, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're literally done here, guys. Hell yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Can I, like, quick stack any of this? Yes, I can. All right. What do we got? The Brain of uh, Confusion, of course. And, of course, we've got ourselves the Crimtain and some various other bits and bobs as well. Uh, tissue samples. Where were they? Did we quick stack them? Oh, no. They're there. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, we didn't get the Eater of Worlds uh, lore, but check this out. Boss drops and material shop. Look at this. So I think this gal was called the operator. It said at the bottom that that was a thing. Uh, materials and boss drops. Vanilla treasure bags. What? Informating note. No treasure bags available yet. Beat Skeletron to unlock the first wave. What the hell? That is awesome. Okay, modded treasure bags. Nothing in there yet. Oh, right, what about number two? Let's have a look. Uh, again, beat Skeletron. Okay. That's really awesome. We can literally buy treasure bags. And all of this stuff. We can buy Crimtain Ore. That's so strange. But I love it at the same time. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I think next episode, we're going to start off by making ourselves some brand new gear. And then we'll go for the Hive Mind and Perforators, I guess. Well, actually, no. We need to technically go for all of the boss drops first. But still... Holy crap, guys. What an episode of progress. Guys, if you have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a big fat thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it if you did. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.